Hello and welcome to All-in-One SEO, the best WordPress SEO plugin and toolkit to improve your website search rankings. In this video, we will take a look at how to set up Twitter integration in All-in-One SEO. If you've not done so already, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. So to get started, what we want to do is head over to your dashboard in WordPress. And we want to go to All-in-One SEO here on the left-hand side. And we'll see a little tab here called Social Network. So we can click on this. And under the Social Profiles tab, you'll also see Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Under Social Profiles down here, you can add all of your social media URLs, including the Twitter URL. And if they all have the exact same username, you can just check here and enter that into the box. Let's go under Twitter and here we can see the Twitter card settings. And if we want to enable the Twitter card or not, we can turn this on or off and the default card type. So you have two options here for summary and summary with large image. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and then your default post image source. So this will decide where Twitter will grab the image from. So there's a default image and this is the one that you would set right here. You would just click to upload or select an image into your media library, or you can also choose from these options. So we have the featured image. You can add the attached image, the first image in your content. So if this is a blog post, it would pick the first image that you added into your blog, the image from custom field, the post author image, or the first available image. So for this example, I'm just going to select the featured image that is set for each blog post or article. Down below, we have default term image source. Now this is used for pages such as your categories or your other taxonomy pages like your tags and your archives. So if somebody links to these specific pages, this will at least give it an image that you can set for those specific pages. So you have two options for default image or an image from a custom field. So again, similar to the default post Twitter image, you can select a default term Twitter image and upload that into your media library here and select that. Here you can decide to show the Twitter author or not, so you can turn that on or off. And any additional data. So this will show additional data on your tweet itself, for example, who it was written by and how long it may take to read the article. So if you enable this, it will add that specific data for you. Next, if we scroll down, we have home page settings here, and this is what will be shown on Twitter when people link directly to your main URL or your main domain name. Now, if you don't see these options right now, you may be using a static page and it'll give you a link and a little message here to edit your home page settings. And I'll show you how to modify your Twitter settings if you're using a static page as well. For right now, I don't have that enabled. So let's go through the options here. We have a preview up top. We have the card type. And again, we have two options here for summary or summary with a large image. And that image will be pulled from right here where we can upload that again into our media library if needed. Down below, we have some smart tags to select for our homepage title here. So for example, we could have our site title and then we could have a separator and then our tagline. And that would be used as the title in the tweet that people are sending out. And then we have our description here and we could look for more tags here if needed and pick the appropriate one. And after you are happy with your settings here, you can go ahead and click save changes at the top or at the bottom of the page. So I just went under my settings and reading and I'm just going to set a static page here so I can show you the other examples of the settings for the home page. So let's just select the sample page and save changes. And now if I come back to social networks and then Twitter and scroll down, you'll see that we now see this message that I was talking about. And it'll say you can edit your home page settings here. So if we click, this will take us to the block editor for the sample page or whatever custom page you have set for the static page. If we scroll down, we can come under the social tab and then click on Twitter. And here we can overwrite all of the default settings and this will be used for our home page since this is a static page. So use data from Facebook tab. We have Twitter title. So again, you could just use the smart tags here. And then we have the Twitter description as well that you could put down in here. On the bottom, we have the image source, so the default image source, or you could select one of these options now that are available to you since you can set a featured image directly on the page here. And again, the Twitter card type. So you have the default, the summary or summary with large image. And then just go ahead and update your page once that is set. 
And then lastly, just to make sure everything is working properly, you can use the Twitter card validator tool. And I'll leave a link in the description for this. You just simply put in the URL to your homepage and maybe one of your blog posts. And then you just click on preview card and it'll display an example here of what that will look like just to make sure that it's looking proper. If you have any questions, you can browse our helpful documentation, or if you require further assistance, please feel free to submit a ticket and we'd be happy to help.